Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Everybody get on this live. Good morning. What's going on, world? So I promised y'all a couple weeks ago that I was going to do this uh, social media tour where I was just going to jump on each platform, you know, and do a live. And really just, I know is it, I know there's people, there's TikTok people, Facebook people, Instagram, Twitter, and, and so on. And I know a lot of people don't use TikTok or they don't use Facebook. So I felt like I really wanted to get this message out to people that, you know, wherever you at, you know, wherever you, you station yourself at on this social media platform, that where that you get the message. So I didn't want to exclude anybody out this message. Um, it's not scripted, so don't think I'm just like the same stuff I'm putting on TikTok, I'm putting on Facebook now. It's like it's all all um you know, right off what I'm feeling and, and, and what what mindset I'm in. And um, really the main thing is the, the topic of, of identifying what type of t uh, tired, tiredness you are. And if you're tired, what, you know, what are you doing about it? You know, and like I said, yesterday I was on TikTok Live and um, it was a great, it, it was a great uh, reaction, and and people really took that message and and, and ran with it, which I was highly surprised. Um, but now I'm on I'm on Facebook, and um, I'm saying good morning, wake up, it's Friday, it's Friday. All right, you've been waiting for this all week because I know I've been, you know, and I want you to start cherishing the, these days, cherishing these relationships you have. Cherishing these these moments you have, like start taking a take pictures, take a lot of pictures. Don't let, don't get discouraged about. Oh, you always on your phone, you always taking pictures. Oh, there's a time. Let's just capture the moment. Yeah, I gotta capture the moment. I gotta go back ten, five, ten years from now and say, remember we did this, and remember this was that, and this is, and it's like you don't know what it is. You know, you don't, you don't know, like that you. You, you don't know what is in front of you. You could lose, you know, part of your memory or anything. And it's like, it's like you, like you gotta just enjoy, enjoy life. Enjoy life. Enjoy what you're doing. Enjoy, you know, what what what's going on around you. Like, you know, there's relationships that you that you got. And your life and that like people would die to have it you know people like you don't get it that part of what life is like yo like people are not people are not promised tomorrow people are not promised tomorrow so like enjoy life enjoy the sun enjoy the weather enjoy enjoy like you get up and you get to do something like like most people don't most people can't do that and you got the opportunity to do that and you're not taking advantage of it, and that's what I'm, I'm trying to understand. And I, and I don't don't get it twisted. I ain't no angel. I ain't no angel. I, I'm not. I'm not out here just trying to be like y'all. I figured it out. I got no problems. I got everything in order. I got everything straight. And it's like no, no, I don't. I, I don't. I'm, I'm gonna put you straight forward. No, nope. I deal with stuff. I deal with stuff every day. But what I always ask myself, when I'm dealing with this stuff, how should I really handle it if it was on the other side? What would I tell that person how to handle it? How to, you know, you can't tell someone how to feel about it as much as like, you know, I don't think you should feel that way, but you are entitled to your feelings. And I think that's where the problem lies. Where people think, be like, yo, no, you're not entitled to feelings. No, we all entitled to feelings. Because I tell you this, if someone Smack you with a, a rock Oh it's gonna hurt Whether you are male or female It's gonna hurt Oh you gonna, you gonna get this work And what I'm telling you is that like Yo You gotta You gotta take advantage of what you got in your hand Stop looking for the perfect moment Stop looking for the perfect time The perfect moment Is now The perfect time is now You don't get this back I promise you, and that's what I've been on this year. Like I told, I asked God. I'm like God. I, I what I want, what I want this year is I want to value more time than money. He 
said, okay, son, let's do it. I've been wanting you to do this for the longest. Now you got it. Thank God. Thank, thank, thank me. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. Like, we, we got to value time. Like, we don't get this back. Like, they print money. We know that. They print money. Right now, as I'm doing this, they're printing money. But they're not printing time. I never seen, I have never seen on Amazon, hey, this holiday special time. They're not. And we don't get it back. I can't get back last minute. I can't get back the last five minutes I just did. But what I can get back is those memories that I, I'm going to create. Those, those, those uh, moments, those laughs, those, those conversations. And that's why I'm, this is why I'm on, this is why I'm on this tour because I want to make sure that like, yo, let's just remind each other. Let's remind each other that there are times where you're going to have to say, yo, am I tired or I'm just being lazy? So let's just break down the tie because that's why I'm that's what I, I jumped on here for. All right. There's two two ways to identify being tired. Sometimes we just say I'm tired just to say I'm tired because we just felt like that's just the right thing to say. How you feeling, man? I'm tired. And you're not really tired. You just don't have a direction. You don't really know what to say. Be like, nah, man, I'm good. No. The first way to identify tight, that there's two ways. One, if you tired. You're physically tired. You're, 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 you just your body saying, "Yo, we need to rest." Like if you know you're tired, and I'm I'm on some like if you're tired, and you're saying, "All right, I'm tired. I, I've been working extra hours. I've been um, I've been doing uh, you know, I've been working out hard. I've been you know the kids running around. I'm tired. I'm physically tired, and that, and your body saying, "We need rest." We don't want rest. We need rest. We need rest. We need to rest. Our body, this body, we cannot go anymore. And if you start pushing yourself, then you're just in circles. And now that's just sanity. And this is what I'm saying. Like, you got to understand. Like, you got to listen to your body. Your body going to tell your mind everything. Or your mind is going to tell your body everything. Like, it just works together. And so I'm telling you, like, if you're tired, take a rest. Rest. If you gotta, and then come back. But come back rested when you you can think straight, you can move better, you you, you know, you, you, you're able to do so much more when you are rested. Like, that, 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 it don't help if you're tired. Because once you get tired, you start getting angry, depressed, you know, frustrated. There's so many ways that you're just in a negative uh, environment, or you create the negative environment, and you're like, "Yo, I, I, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm tired." And it's because you're tired. Your brain is shut down. Your body is shut down. And you think you, yeah, I'm beast mode. I got this. And it's like, no, we don't got this. Stop saying we got this when we don't. We don't. We we are we are far from gotten this. Now the other type is mentally tired. Stay with me. If you're mentally tired, that means that you are carrying something that's weighing on you. That your that that your 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 brain cannot carry. It cannot carry, and it's weighing on you. You like you're bringing this weight in your relationships. You're bringing this weight into your 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 parenting, your health. Your finances, like you are bringing this weight everywhere with you. It is literally attached to you. Like you, you, you're trying to figure out why is it not working? Why, why, why you keep getting the same results? You're getting the same results because you're carrying that same weight that you've been carrying for years. You don't took that weight. Now you may put it to the side, and, and, and it's not noticeable. No one can see it. But you, you know it's there. And then you just wait for the right time to be like, oh, hey, hey, I got this. So when I, when I ask you, are you tired? Like, I'm asking you, are you mentally tired or are you physically tired? Because if you're mentally tired, like, we got we to gotta do some work. We got to get to work on that. But if you if you physically tired, get some rest. 
Get some rest. Rest on Sunday. Rest on your day off. It's okay to put yourself on pause for a little bit and get some rest. Unplug, reset. But if you are mentally tired, that means you are carrying something that really has taken more of your life than you than yourself. And this is what I'm this is what I'm getting at. Your relationships the way it is is because you're still carrying on what happened to you in your past relationship. And you are punishing the current person. And that's not fair. I'm not doing this. I don't pay for I don't pay for men or I don't pay for women because in the past I got done dirty. So okay, I wasn't in your life, so why am I being punished for something that's something happened to you? I don't that got nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with you. And it's like, no, it don't have nothing to do with me. You cannot hold people to the fire that someone else lit. You holding people in, 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 in positions where they came into your life to better it. But you so you got so much weight in your in your heart and in your mind and in your past that you cannot let it go for someone to actually help you. So how do you move from that? How do you how do you make that happen in, in, in a way where it don't happen? You gotta address it. You have to address what's really hurting, what what's been hurting you, what's stopping you from going to the next level. Being that better person, uh, uh, losing that bad habit, uh, uh, um, stopping that flaw. We all got flaws. But what we don't have is we don't have accountability. Like, you don't want nobody to check you, but you don't mind checking someone else. So now you're trying to figure out why is it that I can Why am I arguing with this person? Why am I arguing with my kids? You, you can find the root. Find the root. What the, the, the root is, I'm arguing with this person because and when I was a kid, I was arguing with my parents. Or I saw too much arguing. I argued with my siblings. So I it, it, it becomes a norm. It becomes a norm. And what I'm telling you is that if you tight, what's up, everybody jumping on? Good morning, good morning, good morning. If you if you look at if you look at the relationships that you got and you say to yourself, yo, why is this happening? This is happening because you allow it to happen. And you like, well, that's the way I am. Uh, if they don't like it, so what? No, it's not so what. This is your character. This is your character. When they say your name, they're like, oh, I don't know. Because you're carrying stuff that you're like, yo, why are you bringing that here? Why are you bringing that in this relationship? Why are you bringing this in a, in a, in a, in a uh, why are you bringing this in, a, in, in uh, on a holiday? Why, why are you bringing, like, why, why every time you're around, this comes? Like, the, the weight. And that's what you got. You got weight in your life that you got to let go. You understand how hard it is? It takes more energy for you to carry that weight if, of your past with you in another relationship. Or wait, why you parenting? Or why you at a job? Or why you at a school? Like, you know how much weight you got to kick? How much weight that you, you carrying? And you're trying to figure out why is it not working? It's not working because you keep carrying it. You got to let it go. Let it go. Stop letting, stop holding, stop holding people and stop holding situations. Let it go. Yo, you got beef with people? Let it go. Because God ain't playing with you. I'm, I, I promise you. Yo, I promise you. I look at it like this. When when we go to when we go to the to the heaven gates, he gonna look us and he be like, look, stand in this mirror. I put this person in your life, and look what you did. I don't care what they did. Look what you did. I don't. I, I, ain't, I, I didn't ask you to make up with them. I, mean, I, I, I told you to make up with them. But you was in your feelings so much, you didn't. You, you was like, nah, I ain't bump what, what God say. I'm going to do what I say. I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to just do it. And this is why I'm like, well, that's why I wasn't getting what I wanted. Yeah, I'm going to hold your blessings. Because I'm not going to have you out here all blessed up. Y'all I'm blessed up and you like, yo, you, I'm going to bless you. And you can't even, you can't even control it. You can't even handle a, a relationship. Like you out here cursing your cousins out, cursing your parents out. I, I, I told you, you cursing your kids out. Why? And you mad at something that they got nothing to do with. And this is why I'm telling you, if you tired, there's two ways to be. You tired because uh, you, your body's tired or you mentally tired. You mentally tired because you're like, yo, I was dealing with this person and this person did this and this person. And then I got with that person and that person did this and that. So I took that relationship 
that pain and brought it to this relationship. And I took that pain and the other pain, put those together and brought it to the other relationship. And you're like, yo, why can't I find somebody good? You can't find something good because you keep bringing on the bad. Come on, Lamar. Come on, Lamar. I'm, 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 be, I'm, yo, you don't understand how important it is this year for y'all to let stuff go. Let it go. Sleep better. Eat better. Live better. Let it go. You out here, yo, like, I promise you, I wasn't talking to my sister for like three years. Three years. Me and her start talking again. I'm like, yo, why was we arguing? She's like, yo, I, I didn't want to bother you. I didn't want to bother you, so I felt like, yo, let's just keep it at a distance. I'm like, yo, you serious? So we really didn't have no problems? Nah. Oh, oh, come on. So I'm out here thinking we got problems and we ain't got no problems. And most of us are like that. Most of us are like that. We we we, we create the scenario that this happened. And if it's something simple, I'm telling you, if it's something that you're like, yo, I can really talk this out. And if, if the person like, yo, I, I'm not, I don't want to talk. All right, listen, I'm sorry, I love you, I miss talking to you, I love. I miss hanging out with you, but I'm not allowing this to hover over me anymore. So when you're ready to, to, to come and rock with me again, I'm all, I'm, I'm here. But for now, I gotta move on. Why? Because I can't let that hold me. I can't, when it's time for family events, I cannot be there wondering if you talking about me or if you're gonna be there. I cannot do that no more. I have to be there freely. I have to. There's no way around it. There's no way I can look at it and say, nah. I I I got I, I'm not going because is she going or he going? I'm not going. Nope, nope. Because this, that, and third. And it's like, yo, you really stopping your enjoyment? You really stopping your fun because of a, a situation? If you and that person cannot talk and you're not trying to fix it, I'm telling you right now, God forgive us for all the stupid stuff that we do time after time. Even when we tell God, please God, if you get me out of this situation, I'll never do it again. A day later, we're back doing it again. God's like, oh, I knew it. So if God could forgive us, why can't we forgive others? Why is it that we can't forgive others? And this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Like you, 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 you gotta, you gotta start forgiving. Because I'm telling you, God is not gonna bless us. Us. God is not gonna bless us if we out here and we messing up relationships with His children. And I, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know about y'all, but I want everything. I want everything this year. Everything. Whatever's laid out for me, I want it all. It's all mine. I want it all. So if I gotta make up with people. And they don't want to make up. That's cool. I know I, I made up. I'm, I'm free. I did what I was supposed to do. And I was genuine about it. I made the connection. I made I made everything. Whatever God wanted me to do, I'm doing. I'm not I'm not negotiating it. I'm not, well, God, if I do this, can I just do that? Can I send me to do it? Nah, God. God's like, yo, you want all this? I want you to do all that. Period. No if ands, or buts. No comma, no nothing. And this is why I'm telling you. Good morning, guys. Good morning. This is why I'm telling y'all. You gotta, you, you gotta have that. You gotta ask yourself, yo, I'm not physically tired, but I'm mentally tired. Okay, cool. If you mentally tired, okay, what's what's weighing on you? What's that weight on you? What is really holding you back or holding you down that's like, yo, I can't do this because this is what's happening. I'm creating my own roadblocks. These roadblocks I'm, I'm creating and it's like, yo, I'm creating these roadblocks, but I'm blaming somebody else. And you and you and you mad and distort. And you're like, yo, why why is it? Because you're creating them. You're lighting your own fire and getting mad that the house is on fire. So I'm so I'm I'm I'm, I'm asking you today, yo, really ask yourself, what is what is what is really holding me back what's really heavy on my on my heart because that's what's making me tired that's what's making me tired and, and if it's on me like all right yo i need to address it i need to get it out i need to talk to someone or i i, I yo yo this needs to leave my life i need to bury it 
Like have a funeral service. Let me tell you something. A couple years ago, when I got into public speaking, there were some things that I was doing in my marriage that my wife was not cool with. And it wasn't not, not like cheating or nothing. It was just like lying. It was like, it was just like not being uh, accountable for stuff. It was, it was, it was, it was just stuff that was like, yo, it may be minor to you, but it was big, a big factor to her, right? So I literally wrote all the stuff that she felt was wrong. Like we don't communicate. I wrote it down and I dug a hole and I put it, I put everything in loose glue rape paper. I put it in, in, in the dirt. I buried it. Those bad habits are dead to me. And I promise you now, I'm like, come on, we're communicating now. We, we, we out here working as a team. We're doing, we doing life together, not around each other. And I'm, I'm, I'm telling you today, bury, you got some stuff you need to bury. You need to kill it. Because if you continue to see it, it reminds you that it's still around. And this is why I'm telling you, you got to you got to take some time. I know it sounds silly. I know you like yo L, you crazy. Whoa, whoa, yo, really? Like it ain't you make it sound so easy. No, I'm I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I identified the issues. I dug a hole. I put it all in there. I pat it down. I said some words. I said some words. We, uh, brothers, we come here today to uh, talk about and I'm, I promise you. I I yo I'm, I'm, yo, I'm sorry for your loss I'm sorry for your loss I'm done And I buried it I didn't just bury it just for me and my wife I buried it for me and my kids I buried it for my sisters and my brothers I buried it for my friends I buried, I buried it for my business I buried it for my, 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 my work Like I buried it Like there's some stuff you gotta bury There's some stuff you really gotta bury in life. Like yo why is that still living in my life Yo, I need, I need a, I need a, 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 a burial service. I need to, I need to, I, 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 honestly, I really need to have, yo, we're coming today uh, to bury some of this bull, this bull mess. You know what I'm saying? What's going on, Ricky? Like, I, I, we, we gotta have a, we gotta have a service this weekend. Cause there's some stuff that needs to die. There's some stuff that needs to die. And I'm, and I'm telling you that And the reason why Because the more that you see the BS The more it's living in your life And you gotta get to a point where it's like Yo, enough is enough Enough is enough And that's if that's gonna be with people if that's gonna be with family members If that's gonna be with habits That's gonna be with drinking That's gonna be with smoking That's gonna be with anything that, that's really heavy in your life that you like yo this is what's holding me back this is what's holding me down it has to go let it go for the next six months we are no longer carrying the weight of anything that cannot help us move further if i don't know about you but me i like to move on my own speed not the weight speed so before I jump off on, off this live, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. And I appreciate y'all. And I love y'all. And I believe in y'all. And I leave y'all with this, that you can do anything. And I'm not trying to be cheesy when I say that. I'm saying that in the sense that you, there's nothing someone could do to put you in heaven or hell. There's nothing that someone can say that could really break you. It may hurt. You may, you know, it's wrong for someone to think like that or say, yeah, that's cool. But don't worry about what someone say about you. Worry about how you feel about you. And that, and that's where, that's where the love is at. The love is what you feel about you. The right people will stay in your life. And, and, and if they wrong, like people will show you signs that they don't want to be in your life. They'll, they, they'll do stuff that like yo man you you out here wilding that's just those are signs that yo you really don't want to be in my life if you can do that like that's telling me that yo you really don't want to be in my life you really just here just to like make things difficult for me and I, and I, and I can't allow that so I'm I'm gonna end this relationship and it, and it hurt 
It hurts. But you know what hurts more? Me allowing it to happen. That's what hurts more. And this is why I'm telling you, like, moving forward these next six months, if things haven't happened for you the way you want it to happen since this year started, do not throw in the towel. Do not throw in the towel. The things that's not that's not happening for you, do not give up. Do not say I'm gonna wait till next year and I'm gonna start, I'm gonna I'm do it again. No. You still things could change like that. Things could change like that. And what I'm telling you is because if you can say it didn't work from January to May, doesn't mean you can't start it from June to December. Like, you can start now, start today, start right after this live ends. Just start. Just start. I didn't get where I'm at because I didn't, I, I, it just fell on my lap and everything just fell together. No, I just started. I, I just, I literally started. I, I got in front of a, my phone. I moved, I forwarded the, the, the camera to me and I just talked and I put it out to the world and the world embraced it because I started. I, I removed the fear, Remove the fear. Today, say it to yourself. I'm removing the fear, not just only for myself, but for my future, for my kids, for my health, for my business, for my finances. I'm removing the fear. It's your boy Lamar Wilson saying, uplift your mind before you uplift your phone. Peace.